Now let's take this particular example. Given x is 2t by 5 plus 5 and y is 2 t square minus 2 dy by dx. Okay, there is no a over here. So we first find dy by dt which is going to be 2t minus derivative of 2 is any case 1 and dx by dt is going to be derivative of 2t plus 5 derivative of 2t is 2 derivative of 5 is 5 so dy by dt is uh, dx I'm sorry and dy by dt divided by dx by dt which is 2t upon 2 which is going to be t so we get t as the answer all right fine okay this is quite similar to the same thing uh, the only difference is you have a constant 5 here so we can go about doing the same maybe you could practice this you should be practicing it in any case you get the same result that is t okay okay so what do we have here x is equal to 80 square y is equal to 280 okay just neglect the small gap it's actually 280 we have a comma here so we find dy by dt which turns out to be 280 derivative of 280 which is 2a dx by dt is again is 280 so dy by dx is dy upon dt upon dx upon dt which is nothing but 2a upon 280 which turns out to be 1 upon t so we have 1 upon t as the right option here okay furthermore we have x is equal to ct y is equal to c upon t so which is the same as y is equal to c into t raised to minus 1 please take it that way so dy by dt is equal to minus c into t raised to minus 2 so c by t square dx upon dt is equal to just c so dy by dt is equal to minus c upon t square upon c which is nothing but minus 1 upon t square so the correct option is c minus 1 upon t square okay you do have it okay now here you have x is equal to log t y is equal to e raised to t what is dy by dx so same way we find dy by dt which is e raised to t itself dx by dt is 1 upon t so dy by dx is dy by dt that is e raised to t upon 1 by t which is nothing but t into e raised to t so it's going to be option number b t into e raised to t yes we do have it okay then we have x is equal to 3t square y is equal to t cube minus t then dy by dx is equal to so and so so again we find dy by dt here this is going rather fast uh, simple concept we are just revising what we did 3t square minus 1 dx by dt is 60 so dy by dx is going to be dy by dt that is 3t square minus 1 upon 60 so it's going to be option number a 3t square minus 1 upon 60 okay all right now we have x is equal to okay now here t plus t raised to minus 1 y is t minus t raised to minus 1 the value of dy by dx at t so we go one step further first find dy by dx and then substitute the value of t as 2 so dy by dx is dy by dt that is derivative of t which is 1 derivative of this is minus of minus 1 so 1 by t square divided by this is dy by dx now dt i'm sorry and dx by dt is going to be derivative of t that is 1 and minus 1 t raised to minus 2 so minus 1 by t square so 
dy by dx is equal to this. You take the LCM, you get dy by dt, t square by 1 by t square divided by t square minus 1 by t square. So it gets cancelled t square plus 1 upon t square minus 1. What is t square plus 1? We need to find that is 2 square plus 1 upon 2 square minus 1. That is 4 plus 1, 5, 4 minus 1, 3. So it's 5 by 3. So dy by dx at x is equal to 2 is 5 by 3. So this guy is the guy we want. Okay, yes, fine. Right. All right. <coughs> Similar to that, you have x is equal to 80 square. So we have dy by dx. We can quickly do this. dy by dx is dy by dt, which is 2a upon 2at. dx by dt, 2at. This gets cancelled. So you get 1 by t, which is going to be at x is equal to, at t is equal to 2, is going to be 1 upon 2. So it's going to be half. That is option number a. Okay. Okay, now we have x is equal to 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square and y is equal to 2t into upon 1 plus t square dy by dx. Okay, now here this is a little complicated, so we'll do dy by dt first using, it'll be good to revise our quotient rule. It's 1 by t square, the whole square. Then 1 plus t square into derivative of 2t, which is 2, minus 2t into derivative of 1 plus t square, that is 2t itself, right? So, we have 2 plus 2t square minus 4t square upon 1 plus t square, the whole square, which will turn out to be... Mm, 2 into 1 minus t square. It's eventually 2 minus 2 t square upon 1 plus t square the whole square. So this is dy by dt. Now we look at dx by dt, which is again denominator the whole square. 1 plus t square the whole square. Denominator. Oh, that is dy by dt. Okay, we need to denominator into minus 2t minus the numerator 1 minus 1 minus this t square into derivative of the denominator that is 2t. So, this turns out to be minus 2t minus 2t cube. Then minus 1 into 2t minus 2t plus 2t cube upon 1 plus t square the whole square this gets cancelled so we get minus 4t upon 1 plus t square the whole square so dy by dx is dx by dt dy by dt that is 2 into 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square the whole square upon minus 4t into 1 plus t square the whole square. This of course gets cancelled 2 and minus t. So it's 1 minus t square upon minus t t. So you get 1 minus 1 square upon minus 2 into 1, which of course is 0 by minus 2, which is 0. So, slope of the tangent at that point is 0. Okay.